Hi, Sal from Pangolin Photo Safaris here again in Chobe National Park on the Chobe River this morning, early and bright, waiting for the sun to rise. We still have the moon here behind us. Beautiful skimmers flying past us. I'm not alone this morning. I have a guest here from Switzerland, <coughs> Marco. Marco was so kind to borrow us or lend us, sorry, lend us <laughs> his gear. He is a big Sony fan. As you can see, we have quite a few gear here. Um, Marco, what did you bring with? <laughs> yeah, hello, John. It's a pleasure to be here at Pangolin. Uh, I brought a lot of tech with me. Um, of course, the flagship, the, the Sony A1 with the 600 F4. You see here the 400 F2.8 nice. attached to the A7S3. And uh, of course, the it's, it's an amazing lens, the 200-600 from Sony attached to the Sony A7R4. It's just incredible and I can't wait to see what you are doing with this gear. Yes, thank you. Um, very excited. Um, please stick around where I will give you my first impression um, about this amazing Sony gear. Okay, Marco, um, the, the, see the sun is just rising, the light is still low, beautiful but low, so yeah. what do you yeah. suggest shall I start with? I've already prepared it for you. It's the combination of the Sony A1 at, and attached to it is the 400 F2.8. Awesome. It's a monster, subjects are quite close. You should have another reach with this baby. Test so it out, man. Can't wait, let's give it <laughs> a try. Wow. I have the 400 2.8 Sony lens here in my hand. There's really one lens that I always would like to have one day. And that's the 2.8 from uh, any manufacturers, actually. I remember quite a few years back, the Canon 400 2.8, the first version. That lens was so heavy, it was like a brick. And if you see now with the technology and improvement, how easily you can hold the 400 2.8 is just amazing. Um, really quick on focusing, so together with the A1, it's just a dream. Really nice and sharp. Exactly what you would expect from a 400 2.8. Uh, on the back screen, it looks exceptionally sharp. But of course, I have to go and look later on the computer. Um, but the quality is really amazing. Of course, it comes with a, a big price tag, but it's a really nice wildlife lanes and yeah I can definitely recommend it to anyone if you can afford it. I've been testing now the A1 for quite a while and um, the eye tracking or the animal tracking on this camera is really good. We were following the skimmers now and it grabs every single skimmer without any trouble. The only place where it did find where it was jumping a little bit off the skimmer is when we were shooting sort of into the light and the background was dark. So when the skimmer turned and the skimmer is black and the background is black, I had one or two times it was jumping off that. But other than that, it kept on it the whole time. If you're flying towards me, away from me, I can't fall the focusing, the tracking system at the moment. It's really fun shooting with this, I have to say. And the body feels really good in the hand, um, especially with the, the battery grip. Uh, it feels like my 1DX in my hand. It feels really good. Um, the 20 frames per second is really amazing. I can see the, the numbers here. When I look through the viewfinder, it's just rising very quickly, so you're definitely going to need a big cart. And something I'm really interested to see, or we'll have to wait when I load the pictures, is that 50 million pixels. The camera provides a lot of uh, customization. There's so many buttons around. I can, though, see that if you were maybe a Nikon shooter, that this camera will even work even easier for you, uh, just because of the button layout. It's very similar to uh, and the Nikon camera bodies, but very nicely pulled, feels good. Uh, yeah, it's really fun shooting with it. Mm 
Marco, how did you enjoy that malachite sighting we just had? <laughs> Charlie, it was just incredible. It's a beautiful little bird, so tiny, so fast. Uh, it, it took us a while to get a good shot, actually. Uh, you know, there was really, you, we need a lot of patience for that, but it was beautiful. It's just, a, it's a jewel. So I'm going to switch over to the 600. I took the 600 over from Marco. Um, really nice lens again, and again, not heavy at all. Um, I mean, not heavy. You can <laughs> at least easily shoot out of the hand. You don't necessarily need a tripod for it. Um, very sharp, oh my goodness. This is a really nice sharp lens. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. Marco, you invested quite a lot of money in your gear. 400 and 600. I mean, you could have easily 400 with a tally converter, yeah. but you decided to get both lenses. Yeah. Why did you do that? Yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I mean, you've seen it here uh, this morning. Um, for, for, for birding, it's just an amazing lens, the 600. You need this, this reach, you need it. And, and if you're doing birding with the 400, you have always the teleconverter on. And if you know it's always 80% the teleconverter on the lens, then you buy the 600. Okay. But in Africa, we were also in the delta here, so lots of mammals and some things are really close. You can get close to it. So 600 is too much. Too you just much. have the eyes or the nose or whatever, close-ups. So I have the 400 also with me, yeah. So it is really nice to have both, if you can travel with both. It's but amazing, now, yeah. Now with yeah. the weight, it's much lighter than it yeah. was a few years back. So uh, for weight restriction, I think you, you still manage. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it was 90% was just gear. <laughs> of our luggage, as you can imagine, uh, just a few underwear, a sock, and and something to <laughs> to wash and change. But that's it. That's it, basically. Yeah. Cool. No. Still a lot of a lot of weight. Very nice. I would like to take another picture too. I really have fun with it, and I really enjoy also of the course. camera combination with it. Um, maybe while I'm talking about the camera, the A1. Oh my goodness, I really enjoy it. Um, you've been shooting a while with this camera. Yeah, since February. Yeah. What is your pros and cons about a camera? What do you like something maybe you don't like about a camera? I mean, it's mostly, it's mostly pros. It's, it's just an amazing, amazing gear. It's a great camera. Uh, but of course, there are some flaws. One thing, of course, first is it's the price. It's just, uh, it's just re really heavy on price. So that's a lot of money for, yeah. for just the body. And it's, of course, it's 50 megapixels. So it's not a low light monster. Many people say, oh, the A1 is such a great camera in low light. Yes, it's good really good for 50 megapixel, but it's physics, come on, it's physics, yeah. 50 megapixel is 50 megapixel. To a point then... Exactly, is, exactly, okay. yes. Cool. But otherwise, it's a fantastic camera. Yeah. yeah. Now I have to say, I'm really enjoying it. I only play a couple of hours with it, but <laughs> I do have fun with it. Um, yeah, no, yeah, that's so nice, that's great like to hear. I would like to take more pictures, so let's sure, go out and sure. do it. Let's do it, cool. perfect, great. So I've been shooting now with all three lenses that Mark brought with. I've done the 400 2.8, the 600 f4, and then the 200 to 600 lens as well. Um, when we changed the lenses around from the fixed 600 to this one, I didn't feel much weight difference. So this lens, although it's lighter, it's still a bit heavy. It's, you can feel it's strongly built, it's solid. Um, you can see this really a lot of uh, design technology in here. One thing I really like that I appreciate about this lens from Sony is this internal zoom. Yeah. Um, I think this will prevent a lot of moisture and dust sucking in with yeah. that uh, front barrel not extending and coming in. Um, so, I mean, big thumbs up for Sony designing this lens like this. I mean, you have 200 to 600 and it zooms so easily and it's just with a flick of your fingers, basically. Mm -hmm. So when you shoot this skimmers far away, 600 full, but sometimes they came a bit close and it's just that small flick. This I really enjoyed. I think this is such a good lens for wildlife and for anybody. Ideal lens for here for Chobi. A lot of birds here and we mm -hmm. also have mammals. And it's not expensive, this lens. No, it's I mean, a bargain. It's a very yeah. affordable lens yeah. um, and really sharp. I mean, I've only looked now at some of the pictures on the back screen, the viewfinder, and they're really sharp, even on 6.3. A lot of these lenses, you found that on 6.3, wide open, you can get it a little bit soft. Mm -hmm. uh, the ones I got, 
was surprisingly sharp, really sharp. For uh, a zoom lens, I was really impressed. I think it's a very good build. I don't know how much you use this lens with two beautiful <laughs> primes in your hands. Uh, yeah, to be honest with you, I don't use it that often. Um, I rather miss one or two shots maybe, but I have the shots I want with the look uh, I want. But um, I mean, if I really had to travel super light, that's my weapon of choice. This one, yeah. Definitely. No, I can see. Yeah, it's, it's a great lens. Great lens and camera combination, absolutely. Yeah. It's a dream. Um, I believe it is lighter than the 150, 600 from Sigma, the sport version. Yeah. But yeah. It's, it's definitely more heavy than the contemporary one. I can Yeah, definitely. It. Definitely. Yeah. Quite a few hundred grams, I think. Yeah. yeah. Marco, again, thank you so much for this amazing opportunity to be able to play a little bit with your gear. <laughs> um, it was now really nice also to have the feeling of the Sony, how they work. Um, yeah. One camera I didn't have time now to play around with was the A7R4. Yeah, uh, yeah, maybe that's you right. can just give a little bit your feeling about yeah, it. Yeah, I mean I, I have it with me, um, and it's a it's a great it's a great uh, camera, especially for static uh, subjects. Mm. But uh, the autofocus system is definitely not on par with the A1. You have these blackouts. It's like some DSLR style mm -hmm. blackout, so it's not really good for birds in flight and fast moving subjects. But uh, if something is static or just slow moving, it's an awesome camera. And the 61 megapixels you can crop in like crazy and it gives you so much detail. But uh, yeah, and the other downside, of course, 61 megapixel is uh, it's not a low light monster. It's ISO 3200, it's getting quite noisy. And afterwards you have to really to decide what picture you like or you don't like. Yeah. Most you probably won't like because it's too noisy. So it's yeah. rather better than go maybe 10 megapixels down and rather invest in this, I'm sure there's a big price difference. It is, it is quite a big price difference. Yeah, I mean, for as an all-round camera, it's amazing for portraits, for for sports. It's it's okay. It's it's a, it's a great camera. But if you're really if you're really into it and you're an enthusiast and you love wildlife and birding is your thing, from Sony, the best camera to get is the A1. A1. So you have to pay the price. Yeah. Thank you again, Marco, for joining us. Uh, thank you for this opportunity again. Really <laughs> I have to had thank fun. you. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it was awesome. It was epic. It was one of the greatest trips I have ever had. It was really, really nice at Pangolin Photo Safaris. I just can highly recommend it to anyone to get here on the Chobi and take some amazing pictures. The coaches are great. It's just phenomenal. Thank you very much for having me here. It was a pleasure. I will come back, definitely. That's what I wanted to ask. <laughs> I knew that. Thank you. <laughs> and I really hope to see thank you. Thank you, thank you guys. Thank cool. you, Charles. Thank you so much. <laughs>